Epicythemia vera. vera. So this is a condition um, that you have to understand a couple basic elements first. Whoops, that's an ugly bone. You know we have the red marrow at uh, the epiphyses of the bone, right? And so those are the ones that are responsible for hematopoiesis, the production of the blood cells. Polycythemia vera is a condition where for some reason there's excessive production of red blood cells and um, you're, you're, it releases it into the circulatory system. So you have uh, an increase of hemoglobin, red blood cells, hematocrit, all those go up. And the biggest issue in polycythemia vera is hypercoagulability state because you have a lot of blood vessels, uh, so you have a lot of blood cells all congregating and being concentrated. When they rub elbows per se, they activate clotting mechanisms. So the biggest issue for people with polycythemia vera is that they're at risk for blood clots. Okay, these patients, we have to find a way to stop the bone marrow from producing excessive amounts of, um, of uh, red blood cells. And there's, um, there's myelosuppressant drugs that we can give, medications that suppress the bone marrow. But what we do therapeutically is we do therapeutic phlebotomy, where every week the patient will go to the clinic and they'll have blood drawn, about 300 mLs. I believe the book says 300 or 500, make sure you guys review which, which volume. But about 300 mLs are pulled out of blood because the blood is so viscous. Now, what you guys have to know is potential manifestations. So if you have an excessive amount of blood in the circulating system, we discuss potentials for clotting, so DVT. You guys know what a positive Holman sign is, correct? Yes. Positive Holman sign is when the patient manifests symptoms of a potential clot, like uh, redness of the leg of the calf, tenderness, it's shiny, it's very, it's painful, you have lines that, that highlight the vein. That's a pot, or if you dorsiflex, if you point your toes towards your face, the patient will manifest pain. Those are all indications of DVT. It doesn't confirm it, okay? Um, but the patient may have issues with DVT or clots elsewhere. Does that make sense? Um, people that have excessive amount of uh, blood, they're also gonna suffer from hypertension. And that's another big issue because if you have hypertension, you can have micro and macrovascular issues where you, small blood vessels become damaged, large ones as well. So that's your polycythemia vera. Again, we use myelosuppressive therapy. Milo, oops, just abbreviate. Myelosuppressive, M-Y-E is bone, so we're talking about bone marrow suppression. Does that make sense, guys? 